Hi, welcome to, to my live stream. In the um, on this live stream, I'm going to go through um, native UA um, UI documentation uh, because I want to learn how to write a custom um, custom uh, let's say custom uh, user interface uh, plugins to to 5M. So we can learn with me, you can join, join to the discussion on my Discord channel if you want. Okay, I, at the beginning I would like to set up um, JIT repository because I haven't done it yet. prefer to use source 3 as a JIT client. I got, I got used to it and uh, it has... Oh, cześć! W ogóle. Sorry, że ci wczoraj nie, nie, e, nie odpisałem. Było późno, ale nagrywałem taki w sumie odcinek. E, gdzie ten? Jak chcesz, to możesz w ogóle wejść na ten, na voice chat. E, Dobra, poinstalujemy sobie teraz z tego mm, source tree. Ok, no to... Jak tam, jak tam uważasz? Ja muszę sobie tutaj teraz um, skonfigurować um, source tree. Tak, wiesz co? Znaczy dzisiaj sobie tak naprawdę po raz chyba Trzeci zrobiłem ten sam setup, czyli tam doszedłem do tego native UI, gdzie e, znów sobie pokonfigurowałem już taki sandbox, z którego będę korzystał. E, no i teraz będę w zasadzie szedł i trochę się bawił e, właśnie z tym, e, z native UI, czyli tam spróbuję rozkminić w tym skrypcie, e, jak te medini tworzyć e, i przejść trochę przez dokumentację do tego native UI, e, no żeby się z tym obyć, bo widzę, że to w sumie proste jest, tylko tylko trzeba, tylko chciałem przejrzeć dokumentację, żeby zobaczyć, czego w tym showcase nie ma jeszcze. Wideo z tego dzisiejszego też znajdziesz na tym, w razie czego na YouTubie. A ja w międzyczasie tutaj zrobię konfigurację tego Source 3, bo chcę sobie już po prostu wersjonować kod, który, który mam. Wiesz co, ja tak naprawdę teraz to nawet nie wiem, czy chcę trochę w Lua robić jak ten. Znaczy też jestem ciekaw, no, ale, ale jakoś tak, nie wiem, bardziej mnie do tego C-Sharpa jednak, jednak ciągnie. Możemy ewentualnie się na jakiś jeden stream umówić, żebyśmy w ten, tylko w Lua porobili. Pewnie znowu byłoby tak naprawdę brodzenie trochę, trochę po omacku, zanim bym się przyzwyczaił, bo, że do, tego C, bo do tego C-Sharpa tak naprawdę już się przyzwyczaiłem trochę. No, na to chciałem zrobić. Hmm. 
No bo zobaczymy sobie jeszcze jak jest um, Visual Studio Git Ignore zrobiony. Może jest taki już. Jakiś sobie tutaj skorzystam. Kurczę, strasznie jakiś taki duży. Nie wiem, czy ten Visual Studio daje jakiś, jakiś e, w zestawie Git Ignore. Dobra, to jest jakiś Team Explorer, Repository Settings i tak dalej, ale ja nie chcę jakby... E, dobra, zrobię sobie tak po, po swojemu. Co on tutaj zrobił? Use a specific file w porządku. Tu jest są jakieś... Strasznie duże. Dobra, zobaczę. Zobaczę po swojemu, jak to zrobić. Co my tu mamy? Solution bym chciał. W kropka VS bym nie chciał. Liby chce, teraz tak te chce, CS Project chce, nie chce um, binów na pewno. Dobra, to mi go e, W takim razie jeszcze trochę na angielski przełączę, bo w sumie nie wiem kto, kto, kto tutaj e, jest na tej transmisji, więc e, spróbuję. A z drugiej strony jeszcze trochę ten angielski ćwiczyć za którymś razem myślę, że będzie, będzie wystarczająco dobry. A chcę to, powiem szczerze, robić, póki jest jeszcze mało widzów. Także... Uh, now I'm going to switch English again and I'll try to, uh, to, describe, to describe what I'm doing now. Ok... Uh, what next? I'm gonna create uh, my own uh, git ignore file. Okay, I think that uh, that my version of git ignore is much better than. Um, Then uh, this one. I mean, by then this one. Uh, but I'm not sure if my uh, project uh, is uh, is still able to to compile. I hope it is. Okay, we will see in the future. But uh, okay, so let's stage all files, and that's my uh, base version. Today I have uh, stream number seven, um, and it's about uh, native UI showcase.
okay. Okay, so I uh, I will try to push uh, all of my um, all of my uh, source code into my GitLab repository, and uh, you and I will add a link to it um, on my Discord. Done uh, when I have done on last uh, stream was um, I prepared <coughs> my sandbox uh, sandbox uh, solution with uh, sandbox native uh, UI client uh, project and I set up the project that uh, um, that okay. Let me connect to the server. Okay, so I set up the project uh, in that way uh, that I'm able to. Uh, I mean, when I'm building the project, all of the output uh, is uh, is uh, copied into uh, into. Mm, my um, 5M uh, server uh, folder and I also um, add resource Lua file to the uh, source of the project so uh, now I can what I have to do um, when I'm developing the plugin is just to edit the plugin and I need to press uh, Ctrl Shift P, and I have to just restart my plugin. And that's all that I need. I think that the last um, step I could also um, uh, replace by some um, automatic action, but I don't know uh, how. <laughs> okay, but I think it's possible. Okay, so let's start my Sandbox01 project. I prepare uh, also restart command. Okay, and as you can see, when I press F5, I am When I press F5, I got uh, native UI uh, showcase on the left. I copied the uh, source code from uh, the uh, from GitHub repository with native UI DLL file. Uh, I will put uh, the repository in the uh, description of, of this video. Okay. Mm. I can see that uh, someone entered to the channel, so welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to learn how to uh, write uh, some um, native UI uh, user interface uh, in to 5M in C Sharp. Okay. On the previous stream, I added. Uh, the second uh, checkbox here uh, with uh, default value. Um, and now I'm going to um, to to dip inside uh, how to build uh, a new menu and what does uh, any of uh, this line? Uh, what is the meaning of any of this line? Um, I will start from from the beginning, I think. So from this part, 
the first thing that I want to know is uh, what is uh, menu pool because what I can see here is uh, that I have uh, a menu pool object and then I create some new menu with with some title here so I think that this is native UI and native UI showcase so it's it's this okay so I will try to create another menu and and I will try to add it into um, menu menu pool second keyboard option because uh, I always switch into I always switch to the second um, to, the, to the English uh, version I have a keyboard Oops. Um. Control key. It's not a control key.
Ctrl Shift Space. Okay, Ctrl Shift Space. Okay, yes, I got it. Okay, what does glare mean? So let's try it to uh, set uh, set try. <laughs> let's try to set it to set it uh, to false. And because uh, I'm going to see the difference. Okay, and the new pool. Add another menu just below. Uh, Uh, just below the previous one okay control r okay control r control r okay so i have to type i have to, I have to press two times control r to control r to 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 rename um, variable name so it's strange for me but okay I think that I can get used to it. Okay, so let's see what has changed. Expected that uh, something that something changed uh, that something will change. Mm. Okay, so ah, uh, okay, because uh, no, I have met, okay, so uh, I think that's the mm, that's why uh, because there is uh, something like menu pool and in one menu pool we have many menus but we uh, but we can um, hide um, and show each uh, menu menu um, separately. Okay, so that's why. It didn't uh, show, it didn't appear. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I have both the news uh, like one over over uh, I mean the second menu is just over uh, the previous one mm. okay so now it's the moment that I want to uh, read about what is uh, menu or So where is documentation? Here is a wiki. And wiki page.
Okay, so maybe let's try this one. I'm not sure if I found the right documentation, but I would like to uh, test it and just try to follow. Uh, um, to follow it. I would like to uh, see a uh, class hierarchy uh, in Visual Studio. I'm not sure if it's possible to to see to see it, but I, I, I would like to find. find it. Mm. Okay, the where is class view?
Okay, I have no idea. Okay, I got it. Got some exception. Hmm. Let's see. Well, let's debug the, the problem. Okay, I don't know how to debug, but <laughs> I think that I know how to how to find the solution. I think that there is something wrong with the color here. We can try. To add um, this uh, menu item without colors, and I think that uh, it should work. 
now and if I am right uh, it means that yes I am right so it means that uh, the problem is uh, with color and I think that the problem is uh, because I should get some maybe int value or something like like that and not uh, not X. okay uh, let's go back to here and let's check uh, what is the data type of the color okay I don't know how how to check check it okay so the data type is color hmm. so it should be okay but um, but uh, as you can see in other other uh, in the showcase uh, he used uh, color from ARGB so with alpha channel maybe that's the maybe that's the problem Yes, that was the problem, but uh, I don't know why uh, passing a color uh, using from a RGB function uh, works, but uh, and uh, when I pass, uh, when I create color um, or pass color just from the constant, it doesn't work. Like, you know. I don't know why, but uh, but I think that I don't have to know. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to investigate it. So this is uh, guess this in okay that's, that's an uh, RGB value. Okay, no idea. Okay, uh, so let's try uh, another uh, function, but before I like to check if it works, um, if it still works. Okay, it works, as you can see, I have item and description here, so uh, I would like to add left badge because yes, I'm following this uh, this documentation. Item set left badge. Okay, so I think that uh, I should do it on the object. Okay, and what? Okay, so okay, uh, so we have something like UI mini item badge style, and we can choose something from this uh, enum. So, uh, uh, control shift space UI mini. Let's add alert on the left. Uh, 
Okay, so... Okay, so that's the badge. Uh, so now I'm trying uh, I will try to do uh, when I press something like that when I press uh, when I when I press on the on the item here I would like to change um, the right batch uh, to starting from audio 1 to audio 2 through audio 2 to audio 3 okay i'm gonna see how how to do this so i have prepared many now i can add listener but i don't know how to do this Okay, and item select. Okay, and uh, we just add plus sender item. Okay, so my menu on item select plus equals hmm. what next it is like lambda oh, but maybe new item select event okay So that's why. Okay, so it's it's similar to lambda in Java. So uh, it's say the sender item and index. Okay, I don't know how to create an item select uh, event because I don't know C sharp.
Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do uh, to do it uh, using lambda because I don't know how to create uh, the select event. Uh, Okay, so let's add uh, some property called volume or level, volume level, let's say. Mm -hmm. And let's set it uh, to one. So when I select um, the item, I would like to um, increment volume level by one. And if uh, volume level uh, is um, is uh, more than is greater than three. I would like to reset uh, volume level uh, to one, and after after the change, I would like to refresh. I would like to change uh, mm, right batch. Uh, to uh, from one to two to f to audio free batch. Okay, so um, maybe hmm, I will prepare helper function, which I call um, set batch set volume um, level. And I will pass uh, our mini item and volume level. And in the method, I would like to I would like to uh, change right batch. Uh, using let's say switch function a switch uh, statement Check how a switch statement looks in C sharp. Okay, so switch case and break. Okay. Okay, and 
Now I use the same function to set uh, set the state. Uh, I mean, to set the initial state. Okay. Okay, and now I think that it should work. Uh, it should work because um, <clears throat> yes, I think that everything uh, has been made. So let's try to compile uh, the code. Let's start and begin. Hmm. I think that it works, but let's see if I what happened if I click on the menu item. Mm, nothing happened. But why? Hmm. Maybe it's not uh, item select. Maybe it's okay. Let's add some debug here. Debug, right line. Mm. Inside if. Inside on item select. Okay, so I was inside. I was inside if. Okay, I know where is the problem. I put, you know, I put the line uh, in this uh, uh, in this if statement. So uh, the line um, will run or runs only when uh, I. The value is, is uh, equal to one, so uh, I need to just uh, just um, put it here. So now it should works. Okay. Yeah, and. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm very happy. Uh, okay, now I feel that I can uh, write something uh, <laughs> very interesting using native UI. Uh, so uh, I think that I finish uh, this uh, live stream now, and. Um, So thank you very much and see you tomorrow.